Hi guys and welcome to yet another my little review videos. Um, it's the end of well, March and it's a little bit cold, but it doesn't stop you from caring about your your motor, uh, your car, your automobile, if you will. Um, and when you're looking around on the internet, at some point you're gonna come across this. Yep, it's a little bit smaller than what you thought in real life. Um, this is specifically is the um, Works Hydro Shop. Now we'll quote the number. Two seconds. Still have the packaging. Um, WA4036. And yes, it is quite tiny. I, I was expecting a, a container, not this little petite thing. Um, so we're going to have a look today at the Snow Foam. Soap, dis what do they actually call it? What's it branded as? Soap mixture container. It's a 0.4 litre or 14 ounces, 400 millilitres. Um, I have no idea what a ounce, fluid ounce, I think, um, for American viewers. Um, I think that's a thing. Um, over in the UK, we use mils and litres. And yeah, we fill up our cars and measure how many miles to the gallon we do. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is a 400 mil container and uh, it slots onto the end of your hydro shot and then rotates and then you've got something that looks like it's come out of some kind of sci-fi film. Um, I, honest to God, uh, I don't know how this video is going to turn out. This is the first time that I've... Uh, used it, it's completely bare, it's naked, and I thought I might try it out first on camera because then whatever happens, happens. Uh, for this experimental video, I'm going to be using some of Britain's finest uh, Autoglim Polar Blast. Um, Autoglim is a small, relatively, uh, manufacturing company uh, based in Letchworth, it's a little tiny town, um, city sort of place um, in the UK, just about an hour's drive north of London, uh, and they make cleaning products. Um, I've used Auto Glim all my life, and I like it, but I've heard some varied comments about the Polar Blast, and I've also heard some varied uh, things about the little um, soap dispenser. We all know it's a snow foam gun, but I don't think it quite figures out some kind of characteristic to be called a snow foam gun. But either way, let's give it a go and see what it does. Uh, see what it's about. <laughs> let's go. I'll flip around because I'm just going to do the mixture and show you what mixture I'm using. Uh, that might help you out if uh, you're wondering what ratio to mix it. Um, it's pretty much what's on the packet. Um, let's have a look. Okay, for this we're going to use um, Auto Glim Polar Blast. You're going to need a jug. You're going to need a container of water. This is special recycled water from my dehumidifier, be environmentally friendly and all that malark. Um, and you're going to need your pot from your uh, soap mixture container. You also might need a funnel just to stop it being a bit messy. So what we're first going to do is break the seal on the Polar Blast. It's a good seal. <laughs> Take half of it and return it. No, don't do that. Um, so this is liquid. Um, it's. I was, I was expecting blue because it's polar blast. Um, it says here without trying to spill it. Um, pole to pole exterior protection. Blah blah. How to use before you start. Check the bodywork and wheels. Cool to the touch and out of direct sunlight. Okay, uh, Polar Blast can be used in various dilutions. A good starting point is 100ml of product to 500ml of water. Uh, so if I do 400 to 80ml, um, what are they routes? This is uh, 100ml, I think, half a cup. I don't know if the Americans shouting at me and telling me, oh, half a cup's this, and um, I, I, I don't know how much half a cup is, but let's, let's do an approximation, shall we? Where it goes everywhere. It's very liquidy. I think that's about 80 mil. 
it does smell very soapy, I will say. <laughs> it's like smell of vision. No, it's, it, the aroma from it's extremely strong. Oof, yes, it smells very chemically. That's the best way I can put it. And then we're going to fill up the rest of it. Probably make a, a bit of a mess, but let's we'll try and decant this. This is probably going to go everywhere. Room or workbench. I've got electrics underneath here. Let's just turn them off. Yep, it did go everywhere, but let's not worry too much about that. We've got some water here. And I can tell you now, it's very, very foamy. Um, it's not subjective, it's just coming out the top. So it's tubing here. Screw it on. And then we're going to go over to my lovely little mud car, which means we're going to come outside and find out what it's about. Hey guys, welcome to the outside world. Um, you got the hydro shot, exactly how I left it beforehand. I've got the 6 amp battery, just so it doesn't humiliate me and run out of power all of a sudden. And uh, a bit of a woody car. Let's just see how it goes. Oh yeah! Nothing there. Like I see in the uh, on the tint work when people turn, go, oh, that's safe in my car. Safe in my car. This. <laughs> there we go. Um, well, whilst we're out here, it'd be rude not to. Uh, it's also worth noting that just doing that one side, I've used up about, oh, it's got markers on it actually. It's about 150 mil of fluid. So there you go. That's that one done and busted. Well, here we might as well give some more toys. Again, more stuff you've probably seen to do the hydro shot. Use the circular brushy thing that's um, supposedly, it's really quite cool actually. Locks in place standard way but then the locks there so the locks there um, and then the heads rotatable you unlock the end and then angle it when it becomes loose enough and have it probably full tilt so it looks better for the camera and then we're gonna scrub the wheels uh, I'll try and zoom in on the wheels. Rinse out the shot live. Cool kid like that. So it's the same shot as the original photo shot. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's have a look and see how good this is or not.
Do you want to see it spinning around? It's really quite cool. You can see it from the top as well. I think you'll agree, both of these are actually superb uh, toys. Toys, tools, 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 they're tools. Remember they're tools, especially when you're uh, speaking to your wife. They're tools, you need them. You don't need toys, but you need tools. Um, I'm now gonna get very cold and dirty and finish off washing the rest of the car. You can join me for a roundup once I've finished. Hi guys, um, I've already done the rest of the uh, video. This is now out of sync, but the the bottle, the juice bottle, the snow foam, absolutely amazing. Um, I, I dove this down to specifically the Lance. I know uh, Works themselves actually made a video on it. Um, I wasn't too impressed, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, I think my video is way better. Um, I think they should turn around and use me for doing all their promotional videos from now on. No, seriously, uh, this stuff combined with the Auto Glim Polar Blast, I can't not give them a shout out. Auto Glim, you've done an amazing job. It works, you've equally made an amazing uh, bottle dispenser that I've seen videos before of people using these and gone, oh yeah, yeah, a couple hundred quid and you might be able to sell and get one of those uh, just for the snow foam adapter and a high pressure, you know, cartridge. So, 3000 psi blow your paint off sort of job. And it might come out like that. No, actually, all you need is a, uh, a Works Hydro Shot, the brushless one, with a snow bottle. I've also got the extension Lance as well here, as uh, that I want to mention. Obviously, I've done the review on the short Lance and the turbo uh, spinner as well. So this is the extension Lance um, that you can stick the extension Lance onto the extension Lance. And that's now upside down but you get it the right way around you stick the extension lance onto the extension lance and it will give you yes that I and mean, that's just ridiculous i mean i'm about six foot away from the camera and this is just i can get it into the shot there we go <laughs> yeah uh mental piece again but yeah um that's i've also used that it saves you back a little bit especially when using the uh the rotating brush, um, this is also really, really good for doing um, your uh, your wheels and stuff. And it also, uh, well, I don't know where the other end of it is, here it is. In my handy box, I happen to just have just off screen. Um, it's worth noting as well, I'll quickly show you this because this might drive you potty, if you look at me. There are locator rings on the inside, little like nodules, you can see just there. If you hold one of those and then Rotate, find another one, and rotate the center. He says, try and make it really easy whilst showing you guys on camera. You can unscrew the center piece, you have to sort of work your way around. They're not all underneath a lock at one time. Hold that one, rotate the center, root around that one and you keep going around eventually the centerpiece unlocks and then you can put it's like a hair corn style piece on just lock it off gently so you don't have to do what I've done there and then you can change it over to the soft internal it's very good for doing paintwork but I have used this on my paintwork today um, and it didn't leave any scratches at all. Uh, you might find that if you've got heavy deposits of mud on there that it may be a bit more of an issue to you. Other than that, um, I think I've only got two more products for the Works Hydro Shot to do. Three more, three more. I've got the four, four. I'm inventing more products. No, you've got the little mister, um, the brush, the rotating brush, and the squeegee. You really bothered about those? Uh, I, I, I'll be honest with you, the, the rotating ball thing that's like £35, that's like nearly $50. Um, I might give it a miss. I'm more than 
happy with this. The design of my wheels means that if I really get any issues, I will use. He says go into his box of tricks. A brush manually or even a proper wheel brush. Um, for 35 quid, honestly, I can't. I, I really can't see the bottle brush that rotates being that much of an amazing thing. I might be completely wrong. I was quite wrong about this. I really thought this was going to be not that good. It turns out it's fantastic. Um, if you own a Hydra Shot, own one of those, especially if it's a brushless one like I've got. Own one of those. Own a soap bottle as well. This, and get yourself some water, uh, water glam pone blast, seriously. Um, if you're in the US, I don't know what the equivalent is there, you can get hold of water glam. Start trying to get hold of water glam. It's amazing. Um, just, yeah. <laughs> I know it's always very, very difficult. Yeah, obviously my channel is dedicated to works tools and if you sit there and see me praise them, you might say, oh, he's just doing that, or he's paid to say that. No, um, works do turn, you know, send me some stuff every now and again. I'm very, very appreciative of that. Actually, I've got a couple of bits and pieces actually. I'm gonna, um, doing a video possibly tomorrow. Maybe next week, maybe on my roster day off. We'll see. Um, that I'm going to be doing for, uh, for those. And I have been given those, but all these bits and pieces here I've bought myself. And um, yeah, it works sort of both ways. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's um, very much a case of uh, put your money where your mouth is. And yeah, I'm really happy. Um, ecstatic almost, especially that snow foam gun. For 13 quid. A proper snow foam gun. By the time you've got yourself a decent uh, pressure washer on that, it's like you're looking at about nearly three, four hundred quid for a decent snow foam setup. Um, don't save yourself a lot of money. Buy a Works Hydro Shot and a hose and a snow foam gun and some pole blast. There you go. Um, as always, guys, rate, hate, slate. Oh, I don't like pole, you know, oh, I, I think your videos are rubbish. You've used foamy water. God, guys, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's yeah. I, I, I do like um, a bit of banter in the comments section, and uh, you know, somebody told said to me that uh, my my video audio leveling um, is off. I am going to try and sort that out, and I shout louder. No, I'm not going to shout louder. Um, I'm hopefully going to grab myself a new video setup whereby you're going to see me possibly 8K. You don't want to see me in 8K. You don't want to sit around and see every single. But the good thing is it'll have a, a microphone slot, so I might be able to have like a boom mic, something up here, um, or maybe just a, a one of those fluffy things on top. I don't know. Um, I'll see what's about. Um, if you've got any video, uh, if you're a vlogger or something like that, and you've got any video camera recommendations um, for me, then by all means put those in the comments. Uh, I'm always up for anything in the comments. Just yeah, give us a shout. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.